Hey guys, welcome back to Lanky Talk I Repair and I thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, if you have Chevy 1.8 or Opel guys, 1.8 engine guys, uh, this is an uh, engine developed together by Chevy and Opel. We'll show you guys where the coolant temperature sensor is and how to remove and replace it. This engine could be found on Chevy Cruze, Chevy Sonic, Opel Astra, Opel Vectra, Opel Insignia and quite a few. So, Stay with us guys, that's what we'll be doing. In the meantime, every time we get in the shop, we'll make at least 200 videos. Why guys? Because our goal is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, like and subscribe. So let me show you now. We're going to open, okay, the hood right here. This is the Ecotech engine guys, Ecotech 1.8 engine. And let me, let me explain now first where, okay, things are. First, you will need to drain your coolant. Okay, why we need to drain the coolant? Because when you remove the coolant temperature sensor, all the coolant will come out. So there is a special video that we made for you guys how to drain the coolant and where the coolant drain plug is located. After you drain your coolant guys, if you don't know how to, check out the video, we'll show you what else we need to do. This is your thermostat, okay, thermostat housing right here. And if you look towards the back side, Okay, towards the back side, right there. Okay, this is where your coolant temperature sensor is located. So, we're going to remove, okay, the sensor, the connector for the uh, camshaft position sensor here. Okay, and with that thing removed, okay, this sensor, guys, okay, right here, this is your coolant temperature sensor. Now, I'm going to hold it here, okay, we'll go underneath. Okay, let me just pull it a little bit up. Okay, and hold it so it doesn't fly away. Lift it up, okay, go up, perfect. Okay, this is the spring coming out. I'll get it out. Now we'll grab the sensor, guys, and pull that thing out. Okay, check out the connector, press in, pull it out. Okay, and this is it, guys. This is your coolant temperature sensor. That's how you guys remove it. Now let me show you quick, guys, okay how you're going to install that thing so you know what to do okay quick video guys now uh, not very complicated so all we need to do now grab the new sensor okay connect it to the wire push in install it there okay get it in the hole push it in now we need to install that spring. Okay, I'm going to install it with my right hand because left hand, okay. Not that the right one is perfect, but the left one is way worse than the right one. You need to keep the sensor pressed in and install the spring. After that, all we have to do, connect your wire here. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time. 